Most overpriced items in society. Somebody cue the intro. Somebody needs to explain why we're paying for water when humans are 70% of that shit. Are you telling me that I gotta pay for 70% of myself? That's not making very much sense, my friend. My friend, you're not making much sense. And you're also probably not my friend. You probably think I am very, you know, kind of a bitch. I mean, technically speaking, if you really think about it, if we're still selling water for money in this day and age and humans are 70% water, doesn't that technically mean that we're selling 70% of humans? This is proof that humans never change. We're all just a bunch of sacks of shit. I don't know why people say the words baby food when you could literally just compress it into one word, scam. Because ain't no way you're charging me $5 for a jar of mushed up carrots and nutsack juice. Like, it's just not happening. I'm not paying for that shit. I'm also not a, a baby, so I guess it's, n I'm not really like, uh, like, I guess they don't give a shit about me. But I guarantee you that when I was like 33 and a half weeks old, I could definitely not tell the difference between Gerber's overpriced ass mushed carrots and the carrots that my mom mushed up at home. Yeah, we need to get rid of the baby food. I'm not a big fan, nor in air conditioning. I would honestly be more proud of my mother if she just decided to force feed me pop rocks as a baby because at least then I can tell people that I had a rough childhood growing up and I didn't have it easy and I get to like talk about how tough I am because of that I'm tough bitch <laughs> Do you know how expensive Taylor Swift tickets are? Neither do I. Let's find out. Most of the cheapest tickets are priced between $1,500 and $2,250. What in the chicken noodle inbred poodle is going on here? Is this really even about the music anymore? I really hope Taylor Swift understands that at this point, she doesn't even need to perform. She could literally just go on stage with a guinea pig and just make out with it for 5 minutes and 35 seconds and then just walk off stage. Not one complaint. Because at that point, if you're paying that much money for some concert tickets, you probably don't give a shit about how well your money is being spent. It's just all about being in the same venue as Taylor Swift. And honestly, I kind of respect it, man. That's like next level star power type shit. It's almost as much star power as you, Daniel. Wait a second. I have to pay money to be okay? Well, this certainly makes life a whole lot more boring. Now, it's one thing the fact that I can't purposefully go out and do some stupid shit and hurt myself and get free healthcare, but the fact that literally anything can happen to me and I go to the hospital to get myself well to where I'm allowed to live and stuff, then I get charged with like a $5,000 hospital bill. You're telling me if I'm walking out in public and Randy Orton comes out of nowhere with an RKO on my bitch ass, I can't go to the hospital or else I'm gonna get charged $3,500? Well, that's a lot of hot diggity bullshit. Yeah, that's a lot. Three Musketeers is not very expensive at all. I just don't think human beings should uh, pay money to consume that horse shit. Why are we paying money monthly for such a necessity in our lives? Like, what is the point of me having any of my electronics if we don't have no goddamn Wi-Fi? So it's like these providers know we need the Wi-Fi, so they're gonna charge us for it because they know we're gonna pay every single time. They really got us by the nutsack and they're not letting go anytime soon. And look, I'd be really happy to pay a Wi-Fi bill if there was some sort of service that I see them doing every month. This is literally all they do every single month. Okay, so uh, I see this person's Wi-Fi is on. I'm gonna keep it on because they paid their bill. I'm not going to press the off switch. If you're helping me set my Wi-Fi up or somehow getting me to get a better connection, then you 100% deserve to be paid. But if it's nothing else, then my friend, um, you don't deserve shit. Until I see you physically running on a hamster wheel to power up my Wi-Fi every single month. I don't like the fact that I'm paying you for my Wi-Fi, man. It's not like you invented Wi-Fi. I'm searching it up right now. Is this guy, his name is Vic Hayes. He's the one that invented Wi-Fi in 1997. Not your bitch ass. Vic Hayes is the real hero. But at the end of the day, I mean, nothing's gonna change because they know I can't watch my Celine Dion music videos without my Wi-Fi. So, you know, it's a small price to pay. Congratulations, you just watched me complain about a bunch of shit that's probably not gonna change. Feel free to recommend me to your therapist. Hopefully he hears a lot about me. Um, not in a bad way. But yeah, that's it. See ya. Subscribe!